life, what you want your life uh, to be about, what you want to achieve, because life is about results. Life is so much. We are on the same page. Everyone knows. My name is Obed Alko. Welcome to subscribe to this channel, share the channel with your friends and family. Uh, today I want to share with you how to handle your loans or the problems that come from loan and debt. Uh, people do businesses and sometimes the problems are many and one of the major problems that you get to deal with is uh, when your business is in debt, when your business is in, is in crisis, when you can't repay the loan, when you have gone for money to do the project and they have delayed uh, to pay the project and the people who gave you the money are on your neck you know when they are taking you to court or when they are always call, uh, calling you and constantly chasing you for their money maybe you went for the money from your friends maybe you went for the money from people you know maybe uh, some companies some microfinance companies maybe there's some savings and loans some banks you know and the loan has stayed over time and it's become a very uh, difficult situation for you how do you get over some of the stages because uh, business comes with uh, problems that's why they say that it's a risk that you're taking some people may not even have a um, uh, business debt but personal debt as well maybe you took some money uh, to put into your house and the money that you're expecting to repay uh, with uh, has, <laughs> has failed and now you can't sleep now one thing uh, that occurred to me is that uh, most people when they have debt situation when they have uh, uh, when they owe organizations, when they owe banks, when they owe people, um, they go through uh, enormous pressure, uh, stress, they, they, they can't sleep. Um, my first submission is that you should be able to separate yourself from the business debt or the debt. Because if you die, then everything is over. Or if you, if you cut some sickness because of that, then how do you repay? Unless they forgive you. You know, so in as much as you want to hold yourself responsible for this, uh, you would also want to see that this is something, this is a decision that I made. Uh, it didn't go as I, as I expected it, but um, I have to also stand on my feet and, and, and do the honorable thing, which is to repay them or to at least try to compensate. And, 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 and it's a very difficult situation for anybody to be in, but you have to know that it's, it's separate from you. And we need you to be alive. We need you to be healthy. We need you to think rightly for you to solve that problem. You know, and uh, it's a problem, but it can be solved. Why you are not able to solve it at this stage is that the money that is that you have now <laughs> cannot pay for that debt. As you owe just one city. I'm sure one city you, you would have paid without stressing. But maybe what you owe and what comes in, uh, they are not that much comparable. So now you have a difficult situation. So uh, separate yourself from it and decide that it's your responsibility and therefore you will pay. You know, it is your responsibility and you pay. You don't have to run away from it. It's your Some people, when they owe friends or when they owe organizations or when they owe people, uh, they, they change their address, they cut corners, um, they change their phone numbers, they, they separate themselves, they close, every, you know, they close every door, nobody gets through them. People will be angry. When their money is with you and they can get to you in as much as you don't want some of them would want i mean some of them when they call you the banks or the organizations when they call you they talk to you to, they talk to you like you're nothing you know they talk to you they talk to you like you are a very foolish person to owe. <laughs> they talk to you like you don't have sense they talk to you like you're running away it's okay it's a stage that you you know you created it it's not it's not the devil it's not the demon it's not people from your family that are trying to kill you do you No. it's a decision it's wrong judgment you made that decision you agree to pay that interest you know some of them five percent interest rate a month is it's not something that most of us can repay if you go for a loan and it's more than one percent uh, a month more than 20% or maybe more than 10% a year is something that you are likely to default. It's something that you are likely to have it as a difficulty in your business. And that's why most businesses uh, are not able to repay their loans because the interest rate is unacceptable. You know, so anything that is beyond 1% a month is bordering at a state where it will become a problem for you. It's just a matter of time. You know, and some of us were so much sure that the contract that we were going to use that long to do was setting. <laughs> so it didn't give you any allowance for failure. 
I'm saying that if it's more than one percent a month or more than ten percent a year on the average you're likely to default you're likely to fault on it you're likely to have nothing after repaying you know so even if so so most of the loans that we we we, we you know we play with uh, if, even if you're able to repay the loan you have done some bit of work it means you're a good person you're a good business person the economics don't feel right so uh, don't don't isolate yourself don't don't cut them don't don't let them chase you call them let them know that you want to pay you know let them know that you want to pay and uh, it's the most honorable thing and sometimes you have to go and talk to them and tell them that uh, it's the thing has gone bad it's not working you know you took 20,000 now it has become 100,000 obviously uh, nobody would want to sit down and let 20,000 become 100,000 which means you have difficulties you don't have what it takes uh, for you to pay that debt you are not skilled you're not network enough you don't have the the money to pay let them understand that and so tell them if there's something that they can cut and most of them can cut you can renegotiate you can go back and tell them in as much as i would love to pay this it's so difficult for me to pay this most of them are not interested in the collateral i'm telling you most of them are not one of the reasons most of the banks were in difficulties is because they thought that the collateral was enough for the loan but when everybody is defaulting and you have the collaterals, who are you going to sell to? At what value? You know, so banks are not really interested in you taking so that they will go and sell and get money. Most of them cannot even sell it at the right price, you know. So uh, if you can get the money for them, even if you have to negotiate, even if they have to slash it into some pieces, even if they have to reduce it, most of the banks uh, would want to open some discussion on that than having having to take you to court and fight you and all those most of them are really not interested in that so look at how you can negotiate with them uh, ask for some new plan ask for reduction ask for, uh, for them to hold the interest right to them you know they are human beings as well they also have their difficulties no they never forget that the bank is also a business which goes through normal business problems just like you you know so some of them would understand that and some of the the loan officers that you're dealing with would want to deal with you if you come out as somebody who is responsible who is credible who is honest to solve the problems so go and negotiate go and ask them if they can reduce it if they can give you time if they can hold the interest for you you know sometimes even if they can forgive you entirely <laughs> You never know so go and ask but then they are so much interested in your character as an individual the way you're communicating the way your lines are open the way you talk to them the respect you know that you give to them those things will pave uh, doors for you so don't run away don't don't say that I will not pick their course they are worrying me too much pick their course talk to them even if they insult you you put yourself there nobody put you there and it's not time to cry and weep and, and kill yourself it's time to fight back you don't give up when there are a lot of troubles you <laughs> you want to quit don't quit when there are difficulties you quit when you have conquered you stop and go to the next stage when you have overcome some things it's, you know so um, decide that i want to pay this loan and um, and and know that you are separate from the law you know in as much as you are stupid in your decision you are still separate from the law so you can have you can have your your health in good position and um, the other thing is that uh, look at the people who who were there when you were making some of these uh, difficult uh, these wrong financial decisions because most of those people if they are still around they may be still uh, advising you wrongly in terms of money you know when you have financial difficulties it means that there are some things that you didn't pay attention to there are some things that you didn't know there are some things that you overlook you know you're not tough on yourself enough you're not in, you're not informed enough you're not skilled enough you were over optimistic as to how you were going to pay some people promise you and uh, you believe it you know so maybe contractor you want to go and take a loan to buy equipment <laughs> on a project on somebody's project you know you want to go and take money to go and do it for them before they pay you those things are, are not if you have not done if you're not if you have not done big projects like that and they say go and procure loan do it we pay you no if you want to use your money the money any money to do that project then use your own money if it goes it goes you know, but you don't, let's say your business is doing 100,000 a year and you go to take loan 150,000 to go and do a project for some new people that who have never, you have never worked with. Uh, it's likely that you'll be in that difficulty. You know, you'll be in difficulty. It's just a matter of time. You'll be troubled because you have not handled money to that level for you to go and, 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 and borrow that kind of money. But maybe you, go, you went to borrow 5,000, but your business is doing 100,000. 
you know even if it doesn't work you are in a position to at least use your own profit uh, to pay it off and move to the next stage you know so most people will have difficulties repaying their loans because they never handed that money before they didn't even understand they didn't even understand the implications <laughs> and the thing about our banking system is that every money they give you you have to you know they take insurance they take processing fee they take all this collateral some people will even go and borrow the, co the collateral against the law so so they will pay for the collateral they will pay for the service law they'll pay for insurance you know and they don't even understand the interest rate a lot of the times it's just we are just not we are just not in the position to understand what is going on now if you're the kind of person who believes that you borrow and you won't pay then no problem but if you really want to pay this if you really want to do and i i would say that don't say that you won't pay you know it's it's good for you to do business and treat others fairly it's, it's, it's a good thing to do, you know, because uh, after all, most people become very successful financially and in their business and they start to do good, you know, they start to set foundations and NGOs and help the vulnerable and help society. So why would you want to screw somebody in the same society just to get some money and then go and do good somewhere? I don't think so. I think that you just treat them fairly, even if you don't agree with them, even if you, even if you feel uh, cheated, you know, you know, there are so many things that I uh, hate, so many decisions that I made some time ago that were purely wrong and that uh, resulted into a lot of financial difficulties because we're not thinking rightly so uh, my name is Robin Darko I'm talking about uh, how to handle the loan the debt the difficulties if you are if you are in a difficult situation like that now I mean maybe COVID maybe you are so much uh, diligent and and fugger and you have so much discipline and then COVID came you know and uh, the thing about owing people is that some that no the thing about owing people is that uh, <laughs> they can come in different forms sometimes you you know you employed people the payments didn't come you owe them technically maybe you or you procured for somebody's services and you're expecting somebody to pay you and it didn't come you now the supply becomes somebody that you owe the oil on business maybe electricity data all things can easily be you know be dead on the business because something didn't go as expected so um I want to recap and then I would want to uh, close you know so so don't separate yourself from the law after all the other people also took business risk you know that's something that people forget that if you loan somebody money you're also taking risk and, and not every time that they you know they come through not every time that they honor their part and so this time around you are in a position of failing somebody of the thing that you agree to pay you know and 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 don't be so much tough on yourself to be human that you failed you know, accept that you failed and there are things that you you gloss over there are things that you 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 didn't make good judgment on accept that and then see how you can correct it and um, don't don't describe yourself as the failure as failure because the business has failed the business has failed but uh, there are other things in your life that are going on well that you can be proud of the fact that you even started a business and it worked it's a good thing you know and once you have life there is chance for another another you know another trial another <laughs> another attempt so don't don't kill yourself you need you to be alive you need you to have hope you need you to have confidence and we do we need you to uh, know that this one you can come out and and even build a bigger and a stronger business the other thing I said is that don't put your phone off don't 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 cut everybody talk to people talk to people who are interested in you doing well talk to the people you owe when they call call back write them later give them a call let them know that you are thinking about it you just have difficulty because a lot of people don't have when it comes to money, many people don't pay back what they owe. It's almost as if they go into amnesia, you know, they forget. They, 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 they intentionally separate things, you know, they owe you, they don't want to pay, but they can call you and smile. No, don't be that kind of person. I think you hurt yourself eventually, because then you cut good organizations, uh, you know, from working with you, or good people from working with you. Some people will give you money because they trusted you. The people will give you money because they, 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 they respected you. Even if they don't want to do anything with you again, the fact that you're able to draw that uh, relationship on the money to close, you know, you, the, the fact that you're able to close it by paying whatever that you agreed is a good sign that you're a good person. You know, so make sure that you open your doors, talk to them, and then renegotiate. Go back because the thing is going at a space that uh, at a pace that you can handle it go and say that please hold the interest rate or reduce it or break it down for me or, or cut it so that i can handle it so that we can go to the next stage um you know go for that ask you never know 
what the other person may agree to you know and make it don't make it your mind to say that me I, 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 I just don't care you must care it's somebody's money they gave you you know if it doesn't work uh, find a way to at least compensate them it's important it's important it's important and then um, sometimes you can also break them into pieces you not know, maybe you owe a lot of organizations look at the small small ones that you can handle because sometimes handling just one or two will make you feel like uh, everything is not all that lost because you need your confidence you know you need your confidence to fight back as an entrepreneur you need your confidence to you know <laughs> start to so once you're able to pay just a little you will start to have some kind of hope you will start to think again hopelessness is not a good thing for you to feel like ah there's no way out of this is not a good thing you know and i'm saying that to also break some relationship from people who um were around you when these things were you know maybe maybe they even cook it for you <laughs> it means even if they were genuine it means that there are things that you also don't understand you know and listen to people who caution you and you didn't pay attention they may know something that you don't know you know so now go we'll humble yourself and look for solutions you know, so uh, my name is Obeda. I want to thank you very much uh, for watching, going through the debt, the difficulties, or handling your loans, or difficulties with money. So thank you very much. Please subscribe to this channel and share the channel with your friends. Thank you.